Michelle Smith bringing us that Home Depot coaching clinic on how to hit a changeup, and Kelly Majum showed us how, Michelle. Yeah, absolutely. Even though her weight was a little bit on that front foot, she really brought it back by getting those legs together just a little bit and driving that ball out of the park. So much power, and when you can hit any pitch out of the yard, it will make you a big weapon a big offensive weapon for your team. 30 home runs on the season for Majum, leads the country seven times she has led off a game with a home run this season for Hawaii. And the first pitch to Alex Aguirre is a strike from Charlotte Morgan to lead off the bottom of the second. Geary, the fastest player on the team, and Coach Coolen says she has a tremendous arm in the outfield. Almost dropped that one over Locke's head, but it just flew foul down the first base line. <laughs> Owen oh 2, the count to Aguirre. Hawaii pacing the nation as a team in home runs, new NCAA record, slugging percentage, and scoring, but held to only one run so far today, and we're now in the second game of the Tuscaloosa Super Regional. Aguirre went down. Michelle Smith always reminds us, they call it softball. <laughs> but it when that thing comes soft. in, it is hard. <laughs> exactly, it is not soft when you get hit with this especially. You can see that Charlotte Morgan Kneecap. is gonna hit Aguirre just on the Yep, right on the kneecap, and there's not a lot there but skin and bone, and that definitely hurts. Zinger. Geary getting it out. She's at first base. And Kanani Putu Warren steps into the batter's box. Putu Warren was brought into the Hawaii program as a catcher, and she really wanted a change defensively. She became the starting center fielder last season because Majum went down at the end of Hawaii's fall season and had to take a medical redshirt year. And then this year, with Majum's return, Putu Warren moved into right field. Got to imagine playing catcher and then going into the outfield would be two very different defensive positions, but she has made the transition nicely. 0-2, oh the count now to Putu Warren. Good look at Kelsey Dunn, who through today's first game, through just five innings, Charlotte Morgan has not had a start in a while. And today, you can tell, a little bit rusty. She gives up that home run in the first inning, hits a batter here to lead off the second inning. You never want to do that. We talk about free passes, hit by pitch, walks. You don't want to put that first runner on base. You need to get that first out of the inning. So important. But again, Charlotte Morgan, a little bit of rest, trying to shake that off. She hasn't been out in the circle in a while. So it'll be interesting to see how quick, um, if she does get into trouble, that Coach Patrick Murphy will go back to Kelsey Dunn. Charlotte Morgan's last start was back on May 8th, an 8-2 win against Mississippi State, a weekend in which the Crimson Tide clinched the regular season title in the Southeastern Conference for just the second time in program history. They also won the SEC back in 2006. Yeah, May 8th, you're talking three weeks. That is a long time in between starts. But if there's one, one kid that can mentally handle that, it's going to be Charlotte Morgan. Two-time SEC Player of the Year and back-to-back -back seasons. When you win something as a junior, it's tough to not win it as a senior. When we saw her at the SEC tournament and said, congratulations on getting that player of the year, this is the kind of competitor Charlotte Morgan is. She said, I felt like I really had to back it up. <laughs> <laughs> she, she did not want to just kind of be no. forgotten in her senior campaign, her send-off year. Yeah, absolutely. I think everyone always wants to be climbing that mountain, always achieving more and, and ending their career at a higher note, on a higher note, than they did their junior year, their sophomore year. And, and, and as you mentioned, that's the type of competitor that Charlotte Morgan is. She wants to keep striving to get better. This one will be a comebacker to Morgan. She stays with it. Safe is Putu Warren. Runners on first and second now for Hawaii. Well, Kanani Putu Warren is completely fooled on this pitch. She kind of hits it off the end of the bat, so it comes off with a lot of English on it, and it hops in and out of 
Charlotte Morgan's glove. Take a look at this here. The, the key, though, is that Charlotte lobs this ball over. Her thumb is up. One of the things we always try to tell young kids when fielding your position as a pitcher, you've got to get that ball or that throw to first on a line. If it humps up at all, it takes time. Therefore, the runner has time to get down the line for the safe call. That is real. Rule the fielder's choice and an error on Morgan. First pitch to Amanda Talalii is a strike. Talalii back to Bro. Her only option looks to be first base. So Talalii advances both runners into scoring position. The Women's College World Series returns to Oklahoma City and the action begins Thursday, June 3rd, 1 o'clock Eastern. You can watch it live on ESPN HD. For more information, go to NCAA.com, the official online home for all 88 NCAA championships. First pitch to Katie Grimes is outside. Grimes fouls that one down the third baseline. One and one the count. Eight and nine in the lineup for Hawaii. Up, it's gonna be important for them to try and do something in this situation. If they have runners in scoring position against a very strong Alabama team, they're gonna need to get on the board. One and two now to Grimes. All four of the seniors at the bottom of the lineup, Putin Warren, Tao Lee, Grimes, and Yoshikawa are considered the team leaders, but talking to Kelly Majum and Melissa Gonzalez and Stephanie Ricketts, they said it was the last hitter and this hitter, Tao Lee and Grimes, that are really the one-two punch in leadership. Tao Lee is the vocal leader. Grimes keeps the pitchers in line. With all of the travel issues that are presented to Hawaii, if you think about it, every road trip in the WAC is at least 3,000 miles. They really need to communicate to the younger players all of the team traditions, how to travel, how to manage your studies, and that core group of seniors has done a fine job of that. Pitch inside, and the Alabama fans wanted that one, Michelle. The fans, game one, very expressive. Same here, game two, wanting every pitch that's close to the plate. Can't blame them. Two and two the count, still to Grimes. Fouls that one down the third baseline. And that senior leadership that you talk about with Hawaii, it's so important to, to pass those traditions down to the younger athletes as they come in. It's a big part of this Hawaii program this year. Grimes with a single into left. That would give Hawaii the lead. She scores Aguirre with the RBI single. And Grimes takes this changeup pitch. She waits on it just enough, drives it onto the grass. When you have runners in scoring position, you put it on the green, you're going to score some runs. You can see this pitch again. It's a little bit high. Charlotte Morgan a little rusty on that changeup. It hangs up high. When it hangs up high, the hitters can see it. Look at the way she kind of delays that swing just a little bit. She's fooled. Her hands come forward, but she continues through long into the outfield, gets that ball on the green, and scores the second run of the game for Hawaii. Brim Buchanan brought in as a pinch runner for Grimes. So you've got Buchanan at first base. Putin Warren at third, and Tracy Yoshikawa steps into the batter's box. 36 RBI on the season for the number nine hitter to complement 10 home runs. Yoshikawa, one of seven players playing for their home state. She hails from the island of Oahu, Honolulu. Conley tries to tag Putin Warren, still is able to get Yoshikawa at first. Wow, well, heads up, hey, by Courtney Conley to try and get Putin Warren. So take a look, the ball's hit hard at Conley. She's going to try to make the tag, even though the safe call, she knows she's got enough time to come up and throw Yoshikawa out. Look at the way she gets with the tag. That's a very close play. Still comes up and guns Yoshikawa out by more than three feet, or three steps, I should say. 
the freshman Conley, the Missouri Gatorade Player of the Year out of Robertsville, Missouri. Astute defense for a freshman third baseman. And they're not even going to mess around with Kelly Major. No, I think that's a good call. You got first base open. Might as well put her on. Kelly Majum loads the bases. We were talking about the seniors. We were also discussing Hawaiian tradition. And on senior night, they bury their seniors in lays. Look at these lays up to the eyes, the five seniors for Hawaii. We mentioned the four in the starting lineup and also Tasha Pogdalau out of Lahaina. A lot of fun for their regular season series finale against Fresno State. 